Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, red mushroom farm. Um, produces uh, 2,500 uh, red mushrooms per hour. Um, pretty simple. It's just a couple flying machines, and a little, a little gets a little complicated down here with some timings and a block um, mover. How it works is you have an on switch, you have your bone meal storage, and then you have uh, where your red mushrooms go. Um, I'm going to easily start this off. Let's just reset my inventory and get some red mushrooms. Um, you see, you'd, ha you'd have your bone meal that goes down through um, just a hopper line over and up to a bone meal storage up here. And all of your red mushrooms would come down from line underneath here. Start off, so you get your red mushroom, you get that block pulled down and pushed over, the top gets moved over by another flying machine and then gets pushed over, and TNT blows up all the remaining blocks. So what we can do is we can turn this to grate down, so actually yeah we have a auto, we have a, not an auto placer but a command block that's just placed that bit that down so you can see everything working, you can see that removes the top layer, and then we have the flying machine at the back fire. And then we shoot down two pieces of TNT. It's just to make sure that all the blocks you're pushed in are blown up. Let's see over here again. And watch this. Remove that block, pull that block down, push it over, and then push the uh, pod so black back up. Over here, 
if we watch it again, when the top gets removed, we get a line that comes over, push down, and then we just move it along this kind of conveyor belt. Uh, we need that block there, um, just to uh, make sure that the uh, mushroom doesn't grow any higher. So that's why we have it there. So you can see it'll max out at that height. And then we pull that block up so the flying machine can go through. Yeah, pretty uh, simple little farm. Um, it's just a lot of little complicated or little complicated things put into one big thing. So we can just turn this off now. I said you can turn off now. There we go. I think I just stopped at the wrong point. Um, fully AFK. F AF cable, you just sit here in place. I'm just holding down uh, right click currently. Um, those blocks can't actually be touched. You can see they just get broken. And then once everything's out of the way and we start bow milling again, they'll actually get grown. Um, if you wanted, you could probably have like your dropper setup come over here and then every time that this fires um, or this has been reset, it fires a red mushroom at you. It just there's too much I felt wrong with that. Um, honestly, as long as you have red mushrooms in your inventory, if you have 64, that's more than enough for an hour AFK session. I don't know why you'd ever need to have more than uh, 2,500 red mushrooms per hour. Um, when I orig originally designed the farm, I was toying with the idea of doing kind of a setup like this, where you have uh, max, um, red mushroom spawns, so they can spawn kind of in like this weird pattern. They can spawn on any of these pot soul blocks. Um, but it felt a little congested, plus it takes forever for them to actually move. Um, so, I mean, if you, if you did do that, you could just have a water runway that every like maybe uh, three Minecraft days um, sh throws water down the aisles and then it uh, removes all them but this is just it's honestly much quicker yes it's more work to start with but um you get more per hour uh, like i said 2500 that's a ton of mushrooms um really the only use for mushrooms is some uh like the minecraft stew or um, some potions yeah but uh, other than that uh i'd say let's just get straight into the tutorial shouldn't be too long uh, but that's all i got for you all right, to start off the tutorial, I'm just gonna, well, you're, you're gonna want a 24 by 36 area, and I'm also gonna show you guys the material list, just so you get a idea for what you need. So I'm just gonna scroll through this. If you wanna pause and take a picture, um, it's up to you. Don't worry about the mushroom stems or the uh, red mushroom blocks, those uh, will eventually be filled in. Yep, that's all we need. Alright, to start off, uh, you're going to start, um, remember the area is just this uh, this uh, grey concrete, not the cyan terracotta on the side, so you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then you're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then blocks like that. You're in place redstone dust there, a block like that, two repeaters set to two ticks, a comparator, and a redstone dust. You're in place a dropper like that, and then, um, Hoppers going over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then hoppers going into those three there. Over here, you're going to skip a block, block there, 1, and then over 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, two blocks like that, skip a block, block like that. Over here, you can use some temporary blocks over 1, 2, 3, and then over 1, Four blocks there, and then uh, another block there. Remember, the uh, the white concrete can be any solid block. Next layer, on top of all of this, you're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
redstone dust, you can place another one there, just uh, it does that, that just kind of bugs me. You can place a dropper, you can place a observer there, observer there, you can actually go up another one, two, observer there, and then two more, three more droppers like that. Over here, you can place repeater such two ticks into a um, sticky piston, you place another one there, and an observer next to that. Over here, you can place two blocks like that, a um, what do you call it? Target block there, sticky piston, observer facing down. Over from this um, one, you can go over one, two, three, you can place a sticky piston block. Um, don't worry about that, that'll eventually be fixed. Um, diagonal to this um, sticky piston there, you can place a dropper. Then you can place a comparator, two tick repeater, two tick repeater, two redstone dust and that's facing into a block like that. You can then place an observer there, 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 and there, with droppers facing all the way up like that. You can place hoppers there. So you can place one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you can place two more hoppers like that. Uh, three more hoppers like that. Uh, then you can place a dropper there, there and there, and a dropper there, 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 and there. Actually, not there. Um, and then two droppers there and there. Okay. Then you're going to grab some packed ice. You can go over one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to place a block like that. Block over, then one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six over two, over one, over one, over two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then over another two. Then you can fill this entire area in as long as you don't cover the nine hoppers in the middle here. Then you can place packed ice there and just complete this kind of square. What you can do is grab some solid blocks and you can fill the perimeter of this. You can go up one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Over here, you can place another one, two, three, and one, two, three. You can place obsidian, not crying obsidian, just regular obsidian. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and two more like that. Over here, you can just place some glass, so G L A S. Um, actually, do not do that top row just yet. So just fill in everything along here. Over here, you can do the top row. On these ones, where you've got the obsidian here in place, one, two, three, four, five, skip a block, and then the rest is glass. Same over here, one, two, three, four, five, skip a block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you can place a solid block there and there. It's just because the um, TNT explosion um, reaches out that far, so if it's glass, it blows up. If it's a solid block, it doesn't. Then you can just cover this top with uh, solid blocks. Just want to make sure this is the right layer. Good. And over here, you can just, instead of uh, salt blocks, you can just place your obsidian. And like that. Here, I need some water and some fence gates. I'm just going to use spruce. 
I want to place some temporary blocks in here. Place uh, fence gates like this, and then open all of them. Doesn't matter which way you open them, as long as they're open. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, try not to break them. Be a little finicky. Like that. Once you have that, you can place water there, 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 there. Like that. Um, then what you're gonna do is not on the, not on the opposite side of the obsidian, but on all the other sides. You can place water in the middle, wherever it, where it comes together, but not there. Then you're gonna place water in all these four corners. Then you're going to update the water, just place some blocks like that. And that's all the water. Over here, you can place a block there. Next layer, you can place a block with redstone dust. Um, for some reason, these just need to be activated once. It's really weird. Um, you don't have to do this, I'm just doing it so I don't get any uh, error message in my uh, schematic. Then you can place a solid block there and a sticky piston, um, and then a uh, slime block, or not a slime block, um, observer facing up. Then you can place a observer facing up there, place one down, and then delete that one. <laughs> Next uh, observer, you can place a block, another observer, two redstone dust, a block, and then redstone dust there. Over here, next to this obsidian, you place one, two, three, and then four blocks. Next to this um, piston, you can place uh, redstone dust and a block with more redstone dust. Actually, no, don't place redstone dust on top of there. Your next layer. Oh, oops, did this on the wrong one. So what we did there, um, you actually just want to place the observer facing down into the white um, uh, concrete block like that. <laughs> then over here you can place one, two, three, four uh, redstone dust into a block. From there you can go over one, two. Um, observer facing up, uh, repeater set to four. On top of that observer you can place a solid block. Over here, you can place on top of this redstone dust, you can place one, two, three, over one, over one, and then skip a block there, like that. On top of this, um, what's it called? Uh, dropper, you can place a block, and then the redstone dust there. Over here, you can place redstone dust there, and onto a block like that. You can place more redstone dust there. Actually, no, just don't do that one yet. Uh, next layer, redstone dust, block, redstone dust. Over here, redstone dust, block. Um, four uh, repeaters set to four ticks, and then another one there, and another one there. Two redstone dust on those blocks, um, just normal solid block there. Solid block on top of that, and a solid block in between these two, or on this corner. That repeater goes into a solid block, facing into one, two, and three sticky pistons. So one there, one there, and one there. Observer, you can go one, two, like that. Another one, another one, and another one, and then into a block. Uh, when you do that, um, this this sticky piston is going to pull it back. So what you need to do is you just need to destroy it again and place it there. Um, over here. Um, just so I have the blocks. You're gonna place a bit, a bit of a four. It doesn't matter which blocks you use, just like that. Right here, you're gonna need a slab. So I think I have one set up. Yeah. So you need a slab there just so that redstone line can follow through. And then the rest is up to you. As long as you have that slab there. You don't need those blocks there. Eh, it, it depends on how far you want the, the floor to come out. Um, over here, next to that sticky piston, you place an observer up, observer over, observer up, and then a block. And then you can actually place a dis 
dispenser there. You can place another dropper there and then some hoppers over one, two, three, four, like that. You can grab a uh, normal piston, place it there, and a podsole block, like that. And then over here, make sure you place that redstone dust there. Uh, don't worry about these mushroom stone blocks, they'll eventually get filled in. Then you just need some chests there, 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 and there. Redstone lamp and a lever on top of that. Over here, you can place redstone dust there into a block, redstone dust on top of it. Block, redstone, and redstone dust there. Um, don't worry why it's orange, it's just because it's not powered yet. And then over here, uh, where your kind of hole is, you're going to place a block, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then your obsidian, and then you can remove those temporary blocks. Up another one, next to this obsidian, you place another one over here, diagonal, redstone dust, over here, diagonal, and redstone dust. Next to these hoppers, you can place one, two, three, four, skip a block, and then another one, two, three, four, five, six. Over here, you can go up one, two, three. Uh, observer facing up, and um, what's it called? Um, obsidian behind it. You can grab some slime blocks. You can go one, two, three. Place one temporary block there. Observer. And you can go over one, two. And then over one like that. One, two, over one. You can place an observer there. Observer there. And then up another two, another two. Like that. Then you can place uh, obsidian there and there. There, you need some normal pistons. And you can just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Like that. Um, from this uh, piston, you're going to go over one, two, three, diagonal down like that, and then six blocks total there. From this one, you can go over one, two, three, four, five, place a block, move those diagonal, and then another uh, two by three. Over here, next to where this block is, you're going to go over one, two, three, and then another two by three area and a diagonal one like that. So that's what you, everything should look like. Okie dokie. Just to make sure I didn't screw anything up here. Our next layer over here, two obsidian blocks like that. Um, Okay, then you're gonna need an observer like that into a block. You're gonna need redstone dust and repeaters, and you're gonna place one, two, three, four. This one's set to th three, and this one's set to one into a block with redstone dust. Then you're gonna place two blocks there, like that. Same thing over here. <laughs> observer, block, four redstone dust. Peter set to three, Peter set to one, into a block with redstone dust. Two blocks like that, and one, two, three, like that. For here, you can place observer facing into a block, one, two, three, four. For Peter, Peter set to three, into a block. Uh, I think a block like that, and then one, two, three think that's how it goes. Yep, like that. And then from here you can go over one, two, three. Redstone dust all along there. Redstone dust there. Repeater set to one tick. Pistons there, there, and there. There, there, and there. And then you need a target block. And place it one, two, three, like that. Over here you can place another one, two, one, two, one, two. Target blocks there and there. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to need a slab. You're going to place 
one there, threadstone dust there, there, and there, I think. And redstone dust there. Then <laughs> you can do the same thing over here. So you can place a temporary block, slab, redstone dust there, there, and there. Make sure you put your pistons in here. Like that, and then some target blocks. And then redstone dust there. Um, to prime these things, uh, you're gonna need some, this is the only part where you need mushroom blocks and you just need to place them there, there. If you don't do this, um, when these start to push over, they're gonna screw up and they're gonna push uh, these pistons out of the way before they actually activate it. Because if you think about it, they're gonna push a full block and they're gonna hit there. Um, but there's not gonna be anything to push them because they're not far enough to be activated yet. So they're gonna push again and again and again, and then they're gonna push everything out of the way. It's not fun. So just make sure you do that. Just so this looks good. Uh, same over here, maybe. Yep, um, what's next? Uh, over here, you can place pistons like this with a observer, Let's see if I have one, into four blocks with redstone on their face like that. Wonderful. Ooh. Over here, uh, you actually need to place that observer like that, and then that block like that. Um, okay, over here you can go over two, and then like that, another slime block, and then a slap, and then sticky pistons, if I have them. Sticky pistons there, there, and there. You're going to need observer facing there and down. Uh, observer facing there and down. Then you can place um, over here two more observers. Okay, so you're gonna want um, temporary blocks set up like this. So over two, over two, and then down, down another two. Same thing over here. Then you're gonna place two observers facing up. Um, nope. Yeah, like that. And then you replace redstone dust, or not redstone dust, uh, sun blocks there and there, and then sticky pistons there. You're going to replace uh, obsidian there and there. Over here, you can place sticky piston, sticky piston, one, two, and then you can go. Uh, three, no, oh, and then from this one you go down like that, so you have that Z pattern. Then you can have a, what is it, observer, observer, uh, normal piston, observer. Now you're going to need an obsidian block there with a normal piston like that. Actually, you know, a normal piston like that. Okay, along this line over here, you're gonna place block up, redstone dust. Over here, on these blocks you can place, you can place one, two, three, four, redstone dust, block. Repeater set to four ticks, facing into that block, and then one, two, three, four, five, and block like that, with redstone dust on its face. Over here, coming out of this redstone line, you're gonna place a block. Another one, two more, and diagonal block like that. Um, over here, what is it? I think that's it for now. Yeah, over here you can place a block with redstone like that. Block. Um, Leave it. For, leave that for later. Over here, where this redstone line came up, you're gonna place a block, and then one, two, 
place um, sticky piston there and there and then a observer facing there and then over here you're going to place two um, two observers those are just temporary blocks observer there and then a sign block there and then a repeater set to three ticks coming out of that a repeater set to two ticks going into that one that's facing into a block like that with a block on top of that redstone with a comparator you can place a block there and three redstone dust on top and then a repeater set to four ticks going that way into a um, sticky piston on top of that block and a observer facing up two blocks over you can place another solid block there then you can place one two three um what's it called uh redstone dust along there next one up you can place redstone dust a sticky piston and a redstone block on top of that line. Um, next to this uh, redstone dust, you can place a solid block there. Over here, next to that line, you can place redstone or just a block. Um, over here, you can go up one, two, block, and then over one, two, three, four, and then over one, two, three, and then another one, two, three, four, redstone dust, block. Um, and then over here next to that observer on top of this slime block in place observer with a block on its face Then you can place redstone dust there into a block you can place another block there redstone dust like that and you can place a repeater set to one tick uh, block on top of that redstone and then one two three four one two three and then one two three four into a block with redstone there. Over here you can place a normal piston facing up next uh, diagonal to that block. You can place one, two, three um, blocks, redstone dust there and redstone dust there. Over here you can place one, two, and then one, two, three, destroy those. You can place one, two, three, sign blocks, temporary block there, observer there and there. You can remove that now. Oh, what's next? Then from those slime blocks you can place one, two, and then three. Over here you can place a sticky piston um, with uh, slime blocks like that, another two slime blocks like that, obsidian, um, observer with a block, and then redstone dust there, and a repeater set of four ticks coming out of that line. Or zero redstone wire east wire east power south side okay and then you can place redstone dust there as well then from that slime block you can place uh, slime or uh, sticky piston honey block observer um, just normal block redstone dust um, normal piston and then an observer on the side of that honey block so that's what that flying machine should look like. They're just all self-returning flying machines. You can place one, two, three, and redstone dust there, and then redstone dust along there. Um, next to this um, block, you can place one, two, three, and then one. Remove those. Actually, just so I have my temporary block back. And then next to that, um, any block on top of that slime block, you can place a normal um, observer facing up with a block on its face and another block there and redstone dust there. Actually, uh, don't place redstone dust there just yet. On top of that observer, you can place a block and then redstone dust like that. <laughs> Next up, you can place a block with redstone dust. Then you can place a repeater set to one ticks into a block. On top of this block, yeah, watch, well, you can go over one, two, three, and then sticky piston facing down, remove those blocks. Um, okay. Diagonal to that block, redstone uh, dust on top of a block, then temporary block, and then one, two, 
one, two, one, two, redstone dust there, there, into a block, redstone dust there, and there. You can actually place a block on top of that temporary block, then a observer facing into that sticky piston that we just placed. On top of that observer, we can place a target block, sticky piston, normal piston, Peter set one tick into a block or into a redstone uh, dust, and then three more redstone dust like that. Over here, we can place another block with redstone dust there. From here, um, you're in place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you're in place one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you remove that middle uh, piece of glass like that. Next layer, you're going to place a block, redstone dust on top of it, over here. Glass there, 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 and there. There, you can place a temporary block there and there with normal pistons like that. And you can place white concrete or any solid block there with a block there. Some redstone dust like that. More glass there, there, and there, and then you're gonna need some glazed terracotta. Doesn't matter which type you have, as long as it's glazed or it's unmovable. So that could be uh, furnaces or obsidian. Over here, you can place another block with redstone dust on top of it. Uh, over here, we can go up. Don't worry about the TNT just yet. You can place a solid block two um, slime blocks, uh, and then a dead brain coral fan, make sure it's uh, a fan, and then one, two, three. Uh, don't worry about this um, glass block just yet. Over here you can place a block. Uh, next layer, place slime block there, there, and there. Any type of wall there. Actually over here, make sure you place this block there, redstone dust, and a block there over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into a block, and then another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, and then skip a one, and then go, gee, just so you, I think I miscounted this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the eighth block, go out, and then on the ninth block, skip one, and then place one, and then two, three, four, five, uh, Observer set, or repeater set to four ticks. Observer, like that. Um, sign block there. Um, a block there. Uh, sticky piston facing down and over. Then you're gonna need a detector rail and a minecart. Place the detector rail there, minecart there. Then you can grab your TNT. You grab your stone button, place your TNT there, you can place your, your glass back there, place your block, or your um, uh, your button there. Make sure you have that obsidian there, and press. And now your TNT is primed, all ready to go. All right, uh, from there you can place a block there. You can place a block there, up like that, over two, up one, two, and we'll leave it like that just for now. Actually, uh, no, then you're gonna go over all the way to that block, like that, with some redstone dust there, redstone dust all along here, uh, redstone dust all along here, except for that uh, block there. You're gonna need a repeater set to four ticks. Um, then you need redstone dust there and there. You're gonna need three repeaters set to four ticks. Over here, you need four repeaters set to four ticks. Um, there you need one, two, three, four, five, six repeaters set to four ticks up here. Uh, this is what sends the second line of TNT in. I'm just to make sure everything's blown up and ready for the next line. And just like that, everything should be ready and primed. So if we go to 
for our uh, verification. Start verification. Um, don't worry about the wrong states. All those uh, red mushroom blocks. Those are just the ones that help prime everything. Um, don't worry about the missing blocks, except for this one. Where's that? So missing honey block. Okay, yeah, over here. Um, next to where this. So if we just um, in this slime machine, you just need an extra honey block right there um, for just for the self-returning flight machine just remember to, uh, to place that guy there do our verification again yeah yeah and don't worry about the mushroom stems um, and the mushroom blocks those are will all eventually get filled in uh, you have to do about 20 uh, mushrooms before um, this is actually filled up and ready to go so if we just clear our inventory, grab some red mushrooms, um, and grab some bone meal. Whoops. Um, we just need to fill this one up with bone meal. So uh, I would only do like maybe one line, uh, just so that this uh, this elevator doesn't jam. There's plenty of storage space in here. So for like even for like a couple three-hour AFK sessions, you're as long as this is completely filled up, you're fine. Just don't fill up uh, this stuff. So now we've got some in there. We can hit our on button. We can go and place our first one. Make sure everything works. That gets pulled out of the way. And our flying machine fires. And we get a TNT. We should get one more and another one there. I love watching this work. Yeah, and your AFK spot is just right here, and you just hold down. Make sure you're not aiming like that, or else you're going to click on the uh, dropper or dispenser repeatedly. Yeah, just aim down here. Um, you can have an auto clicker set up, that way you don't have to ruin your mouse. Um, yeah. Um, you're going to place one every, every one like this if you have an auto clicker set up. Um, don't worry, that's why we, I have that block there. It's just to sweep it away, um, just to make sure it doesn't accident, accidentally grow and screw everything up. You can see I place one, and then this one will actually come in and it'll just rip it away, and then I'll actually grab it again. So we can see this entire system work. That's why we prime it. If we don't, this entire thing gets screwed over. That's a pretty cool setup. I I love watching it. Yeah, but that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you guys really enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, especially more tutorials, um, hopefully I'll have more of those coming. Sorry, I've been so inactive lately. But yeah, um, if you liked it and you want to see more, consider subscribing helps me out a ton. Um, but that's all I have for you today. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.